I'm in the middle of building a dust collection system for my wood shop and I'm uh, building a system very similar to those that you might have already seen on YouTube, one of them particularly by uh, Tyler G. Uh, one of the components that I need was a vertical lift mechanism because when you build a dust control system the motor is very heavy and has to be pretty much permanently mounted to the wall and uh, there's going to be a cyclone under it which is kind of difficult to uh, to mount itself and that will also probably be permanently mounted to the wall so to connect the dust pail on the underside of the cyclone I'm going to use this lift mechanism and the lid is going to be sitting on the bottom of the cyclone fairly permanently connected and I need a way to lift the pail up to engage the lid that's fixed. I looked around on YouTube and the internet and I didn't really see a lot of great ideas. So I came up with this one on my own. This is on little casters and the levers are up, it's in the lower position. And right now you can see it's about five and a half inches from the floor. And when you push these levers down, it forces the platform up. And you can see that we've gained inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half area. So to give you an idea how it's built, you can see the underside of it here. I've got two sets of casters. Two sets of casters on hinges, and there's a cleat here made of hard wood, one on either side. And when you rotate the cam, as I showed earlier, I don't know how well you can see that, it simply pushes down on a set of wheels. This is the bottom of the unit. Eventually, there's these four wheels will be mounted in each corner, and the way it works is these pivot up and down slightly creating basically the lift mechanism and the actuation of the lift mechanism is this cam lever so the screw represents the pivot point when it's in the upright position there's about an inch between the screw and the contact point but you can see if I pivot this down now there's about two and a half inches between the pivot point and the contact point so I'm going to turn this over and I'll attach this to give you a better idea how this all works together. So here's the lift mechanism in action. As I rotate the lever, you can see how the cam action lifts this up. So we've gone from the table being down here to now the table being up here, giving me about almost two inches of vertical lift by rotating this lever. I'm using these common door hinges as pivot points and these pieces lift against each other this way. Um, it has to be assembled, uh, screwed together after the fact because there's no way to access these screws if these things are already nested together. I'll put the other piece on and show you how this thing works. I'm not going to do any more work on this until I finish the cyclone because I may need to make adjustments. I can adjust the size and the shape of the cams to get a little more, a little less lift. And I may opt to paint this going forward or something. Mostly right now it's made out of plywood and I just use simple drywall screws to assemble it. I ended up screwing the whole thing together because I had to keep adjusting uh, and keep fixing oversights I had as I was building it. So this is my vertical lift mechanism. And I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks.